Yo, 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 how y'all doing, man? My name is Kevin Brown, and you watching Bedtime Stories. Her name is Dominique Woodhouse, and this is the Sister Series Short Stories. We've already read three books out of this short story, and tonight is the final book. It's called Hat Day, and I love me a good hat, man. If I can show y'all my hat collection, man, it would take all day because I got so many hats. Man, I love them, so I know I'm going to love this book, man. So if you love hats too, y'all know what to do. Go get your mama, your daddy, your snacks. The comfortable cover that you like to snuggle with when you listen to me read my books. You know what I'm saying? Go get comfortable, man, because it's about to go down. We about to read Hat Day. Come on, y'all. Hat Day from the Sister Series, written by Dominique Woodhouse. Today is Hat Day at school. I chose to wear my yellow hat. It says, Happiness. My lunch lady is wearing a white hat. It says, Clarity. My friend Nick is wearing a blue hat. It says confidence. My friend Jason is wearing a green hat. It says growth. My friend Sarah is wearing a purple hat. It says wisdom. My teacher is wearing a red hat. It says love. My principal is wearing an orange hat. It says, success. My bus driver is wearing a black hat. It says, stream. My mom is wearing a hat. It's colorful. It says, there's beauty in every color. The end. Oh, man, I love this book, man. I got to get straight to the lesson, man. Because it's right, it's like, it's like, pulsing in my brain right now it wants to shoot out because i feel like this lesson was one of the most important lessons that i've ever gotten from a book and that lesson was you can't judge someone just because they're different you feel me in this book everyone had different hats on but they were all the same they were all equal they just had different views and different things were important to each and every one of them but at the end of the day they were all human you feel me and like i always tell y'all we're all different so imagine a world where everybody thought the same it would be boring the fact that everyone wears a different hat makes everything you know what i mean fun and surprising because you never know what you're gonna get in life so Always respect people who are different. Thank you, Miss Dominique, for this sister series short stories book. For real, I appreciate you. I know everyone who's watching this appreciates you too because you taught so many lessons. So y'all know what to do. All Dominique's information is in the details below. Get your parents to get this book for you, man, because sometimes we forget the lessons that we learn in these books when I read them to you. So, you need to be able to sit down and read it on your own. You feel me? Y'all can't always depend on Uncle Kev to read the book for you. You sometimes got to do it on your own. You know what I mean? Whenever you feeling bored and you just want to learn something or be reminded of something, you can go get this book, man. You feel me? But yeah, man, what y'all learned from this book? Let me know, man. Put it in the comments. Text me. Email me. Y'all know I need to know. Because like I always say, y'all are the future. Y'all are smarter than me. I need to be learning from y'all. You feel me? And once y'all teach me, I can teach it to all the other adults. And we can all be smart as y'all. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's it, man. Good night, y'all. I'm feeling real tired, man. I'm about to hit the sack, man. But y'all know what to do. Be you. Be true and be back tomorrow morning for the early word. I love y'all, man. Stay up, y'all. And remember, get this book in your collection. You'll need it.
It will be 